Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play a super catchy gummy bear song, okay? So I'll be teaching you the awesome chorus section. It goes like this, give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson, okay? It goes like this, let me see, okay, okay, let's do it here. Peace. get right into it okay so first of all uh, let's break it up into parts okay so and also we're gonna do in block chords first at the end I'll teach you the left hand pattern that I showed you in the preview as well so everything's gonna be taught here no problem let's get right into it so right hand starts on the A here middle C is here for reference we'll go up to the A that's where we start it goes three A's and then C A A and then it goes a, 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 C, E, E. So that's the first part. We're going to break it up into two parts so it's easier to learn. So let's do it again. So the 12 notes here we have, right hand, there's A, 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 C, A, 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 C, E, E. It's kind of like a pattern, right? So it's always three A's plus a C plus, and then two notes, and three A plus a C plus another two notes, okay? So yeah, for the first part, remember, it goes down to the A, and then the second part goes up to the E. So just remember that, okay? Easy pattern to remember it. Okay, here we go. So it goes A, 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 C, A, 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 C, E, E, like that. Remember that pattern for the right hand, and you'll be all good for this first part for the right hand. Left hand for this first part, we have two chords. We're doing block chords first, so this is what happens. We have A minor, which is A, C, E. So yeah, and followed by C major, this is the second chord, which is C, E, G. And those are the two chords, okay? So the two chords are A minor, followed by C major, okay? So pretty simple. Uh, both chords are white notes. In fact, all of the chords in this uh, lesson is actually white notes chords, so it's not hard at all. Okay, so with those two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first with the first three E's, and then the C and A minor together. C and C major together. Simple stuff, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. And that's it. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, that's that. Okay, once you get the first part, let's move on to the second part. The second part's a bit harder with more notes and stuff. Right hand goes three E's, one, two, three, and now we have seven D's in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After that goes E, D, C, A, like that. So yeah, pretty simple. Just remember by three E's, one, two, three, and seven D's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus E, D, C, A, like that. So it's kind of like a pattern as well. Remember that like that, it will be easy to play. Three E's, seven D's, E, D, C, A. Remember that? Say that out loud for me. Three E's, seven D's, E, D, C, A. Okay, after you set that to yourself or remember it in your mind, let's do it again. So three E's, seven D's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an E, D, C, A. Simple like that for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here. The two chords are uh, G major, which is G, B, D, and F major as the second chord, which is F, A, C. Pretty simple two chords again. Once again, it's both white note chords as I said before. So yeah, with that in mind, two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the first three E's, and then D and G major together. After the E, D and F major together. Just like that, okay? And that's that. One more time, it goes like this. Together. Together. And that's it. Pretty simple stuff, right? Back to back, the two parts of this lesson will be played like this. Check it out. That's it, repeat it. Okay, you can actually even put the A minor here if you want, okay? So higher, so it's easier to kind of like show you in the, uh, the pattern later on. So you can be like. matter where you play the chord anyway it's still on the piano it's still a minor wherever you go on the piano word is this 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 okay but for this it'll be like cross hand it'll be a bit weird okay 
it'll be a bit weird, okay? But anyway, yeah, once you get um, the uh, two parts back to back, very smooth, very articulate, very clear and everything, then you can start to think about doing the pattern that I showed you in the preview. It requires some hand independence, so if you're still a beginner, just go with the chords and melody first, then uh, think about the patterns a bit later once you get it very succinct and like, even and smooth and everything, okay? So the left hand pattern is very easy for all of the chords. This is what you do. Okay, so take A minor for example, you play the root note followed by the high two notes for the second and then the top note here, you play an octave below as the third note and then the fourth note back to the high two notes. Like that. Yeah. And play it for twice every single time and then the C major same thing, you just do, um, yeah, you could just do the root note, high two notes, lower note, high two notes, same thing, G major, same thing, F major, same thing. It's always a pattern, okay? So yeah, back to back, uh, the two hands together with this pattern would be played like this, so yeah, like this. For you just go slower, just be like until you can get it, etc. Okay, then build up your speed. Etc. But yeah, it's a pretty fun song to play. Like the left hand does require a bit of um, agility and hand independence, but it's always patterns, okay? So remember to practice the chord version first, make it very easy, and then make it very, um, like, very stuck in your mind so you know exactly what chords to press and stuff. And then just apply the pattern and it just makes it sound complicated already, but it's actually still the simple melody and chords that I always teach. Yeah, so that's the method that I always teach. If you want to learn more about this method, you'll learn more about improvisation, go ahead and check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below to learn more about my piano lessons and stuff, okay? But yeah, also, it's fine if you don't want to check that out because I, on my tutorial uh, of you, what am I talking about? On my YouTube channel, uh, I have so many of these piano tutorials, so check it out as well because I have over 2,600 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from on this channel. So you can check that out as well. As for now, that's pretty much it. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and See you next time.